Globe. We should be on the way very shortly. The players will be with us any time now. I'm your commentator, Peter Drury, and providing his unique brand of expert analysis, here's Jim Beglin. Well, I can tell you, I'm truly delighted to join you, Peter, and, and thank you very much for that. There's the whistle, and here we go. Tries a long pass towards the front. Tries a through ball. He's made certain that won't get through. Gets it upfield. Now the pass. And the finish! It's there! And it's Tenerife who take the lead! Well, he was never going to miss from there. So much to aim at. Well, he made it obvious as to where the pass should be played, Peter, and it made the finish look that bit easier. Tenerife take the early advantage. Looks to slip it through. Oh, good interception. Who's going to make this theirs? Tenerife are enjoying a good spell right now and leading. Looks like a good ball through. Now here's the through ball. He's going to have to tune his rangefinder before the next one. With a delicate ball. He's made sure that that won't get through. So they got the only goal to make it 1-0. Plays a clever pass. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Yeah, and it was a case of, of good awareness too. That wasn't quite matched by the, the right weight of pass. It only needed just a little bit more behind it. And he was through. Goes long and forward. Passes it through, and the finish! Saved only by poor finishing. He was in such a great position in front of goal, and you'd expect him to score from there, but somehow, he's missed it. for a throw tries the route one option looks like a good ball through a oh, glorious footwork yeah it wouldn't have been the most eye-catching goal we'd seen ultimately the numbers prevented him from scrambling it in Made it short. He's had a go! 
Oh, that is very close. Yeah, and he knew he had to get his efforts away before it had been closed down, but he could have sacrificed a little power then for a bit more accuracy.